Shall love we like no other, no other can love me like you do. Anyways, they don't know dancing clear. We see clear and really cool. Them can't fool. We are sent to the street disciple. Don't know spiritual right for up and running. Right, guys, welcome back to the Don Sinclair Reggae Vibes here live in Jamaica. Yes, the day is scorching hot and it's nice. And I'm here with the one and only St. Matthew Street Disciple. Yeah, man, blessed love. You don't know more like this. It's a real pleasure to have you here. Yeah. Right, so I know for a lot of people out there, you know, um, don't know about you and they do know about you so for those that don't it'd be nice to give a little introduction in terms of about yourself just a snippet of your music and what you do so you've been there for me closely watching you never go sleep me grateful you never leave so me say thank you God for everything everything Everything, every market and everything When we couldn't find anything at all Well, I don't know so, so, to some people who don't know St. Matthew the Street decided for the boat uh, Quite a number of years I uh, do the music, you know what I'm saying I'm um, going places here and there overseas and stuff You know what I'm saying and, um, and now I'm going to just tell people to check out the things still, you know. Because I don't really like to talk much of myself that way there. All right. You know what I mean? But we are dealing with it um, from about tough years. Yeah. See? Yeah, man. So how did you get into music and who inspired you? All right, then. I want to tell you, sir. I had a brother by the name of um, Ramrod back in the 80s. Mm -hmm. You see me, I did music, you know, dancing and things. And basically, the local youth, you know, in the community and things, still, he was our star. Right. So, the first star me knew was my older brother, you see me, I said. Mm -hmm. And usually, mash up enough for the community events and things, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not like, as a youth, it's not like you come across like a real artist per se. Mm -hmm. They was who you see as star, you know. But I never did, it wasn't a case where I didn't want to become. An artist or not like that, but but over time I realized that he had an impact on my life. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I always go with him when he goes to these places. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sneak out with him. Yeah. I know it's all right. You know, right. Go with him and things. Still, so okay. yeah, definitely. definitely. All right. So um, could you tell me about your favorite album of another artist? Do I? Mean? You don't. No, huh? uh, like I guess you could have said like Michael Jackson Thriller as a kid. Yeah. I really I recall that album. You know mm. what I'm saying? So well, what other kind of music do you like to listen to? I like to listen to any type of music or song. It could be it could be heavy metal, it could be rock. Mm. A real you know what I'm saying? There. We just love music overall, you know what I'm saying? So if it's so good to the ears and that says something that we can relate to. Okay. That's a something about music, is it? So, um, if you could work with any artist out there, who would it be and why? Uh, I want to tell you, I never have anybody who really think about me that I want to work with. Mm -hmm. I see with music for me, it still does come naturally. Whereas with the other studio and a particular artist might be there, I would just say, yo, I could put together something and it could be a beauty. But recently, and that, that took enough years to reach to that point that I read my kind of read cargo, you know? Cargo. Yeah, man. Okay. I know people that probably expect you to say something, expect me to say something like a Bob Marley or a Sizzler or whatever, but no, I want to tell you some read cargo because he's an outspoken mm -hmm. youth and um, a, a good youth. Mm -hmm. It's a man that I'm to say, him, him, him can chat, I like him vibration. Right, right. Yeah, man. Okay. So, how would you describe your music? And you write your own music as well, yeah. Well, it's very edgy, but at the same time, I try to put out a message at all times. It's a matter of doing it because, you see, coming up, we usually did enough 
gangster too. Mm -hmm. Because they love the gangster life, you know? Yeah. yeah, man, straight. They really love the lifestyle, so it come out in the music. Who got bless, no man curse. Glad I'm not the worst. Invite him in your heart and soul. And make sure you put God first. Who got bless, no man curse. Glad you're not the worst. Invite him in your heart and soul. And don't make your friend be your ears. At some point, I realized that you know, music has a power. Mm -hmm. me? And me, it has an influence. Right. You know, among the future, I have a new one thing still. So, besides the way I am a star, I use the power as a real way. Mm -hmm. You understand? And flip the script and start leading it away. You know? okay. yeah, man, some up for the truth, but at the same time, man and man on the corner can relate to it, you know what I'm saying? Even yeah. man night church, I say your genre, you know, so you can relate to that level, you know. Mm. Yeah, man. So would you say it's more a gospel theme? What would you say the music is? So much say yeah. Uh, and alright. <laughs> the church would probably say no. Right. You see me? And is the man and the, man, style? And the man in the mm -hmm. streets. No, it's the style, a dancer. Yeah. You see? Yeah. A dancer. Reggae, straight to the genre. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the message and everything there is more at a step on a biblical level. Right. But at the same time, I try to in the act. As you say, street disciple. Yes. See, so when you hear me, I put out a, a track like um, a song called One Day. Mm -hmm. Say, One day, man, I'm going to make it. And I if I don't know, maybe now. Say, man, I pressure them daily. But I'm clear, can they well be? I know if I know no maybe no Say man the pressure them daily Cut and click on the levy Say oh cha cha bless no curse Give it the be my we no go earth Them thing na no something where a man that expect to hear as consider that's what Right Yes I may deal with But at the same time me know where it come from You know what I'm saying and the message behind it Because really and truly a song like that to me Is saying bridging don't give up Yes I may say yes. Yes. One day, man, I'm gonna make it and the streets can relate to it and I said, John, you know, say, make sense. So, we make the music universal. Right. Is it me? Yeah. Yeah, man. So, right. believe, you know? That's right. Okay. So, if you could go back in time, what would you do differently? Yo, yeah, yeah, man. Wouldn't change nothing, you know? I just saw it, say. That's what I meant. I think it was a cut. Was it recording? Yeah, so you said you wouldn't right? So no, you, you wouldn't change nothing, yeah? No, 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 that changes the music then, you know what I'm saying? Because you see, what, what people understand is you know, when you decide to, to change one part of your life, mm -hmm. that means the life for me right now would have probably changed overall. Yes. And I don't know what direction my life it's would have ended up. Maybe I say, right now I would have changed being the biggest artist today. Mm -hmm. And maybe me changing something along the line, meeting a particular producer or whatever it is. And I become that big artist. Yeah. And I'm going to gun me down for being that person or something of the nature. So I just wouldn't I don't change nothing, man. Everything is everything. I'm going to give thanks to life. I'm a dear artist. Isn't it? That's nice. They wouldn't meet you. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. All right. So, what songs that you have done? Yeah. Are you most proud of and why? Well, you see, alright, watch it now. It's a music for me. I'm making songs directly. Each of them become like a child, you know? Yeah. And it's hard to say which, which one are your favourite and anything yes. that's still. But I would mention of the songs that have helped put me to a level mm -hmm. in certain places. Yeah. A song called March of Oh, yeah. I'm a soldier, just march out now, put on the war suit, make me launch out now, new beer, they want to go fast out now, tell them we're not back now. Now I'm on my ear that I say, but then I go and join. No, but if you really listen to it and everything, you realize it. I just have spiritual warfare, so I deal with musical night and song like Pro to Black, Wise Up, a song over the name Anna Me, one name Real Teacher, you know what I mean? So, I know I'm about you, man, and right now I just have work on. Um, one day, mm -hmm. yo, do a 16 album. 16 See? album? Yeah, man. Oh, so, wow. To choose from which one is 
each of them have a certain impact on people mm. and it's about and some of my life. So I can't really tell you which one directly. Alright. Some of the notable okay. stuff, you know. Good. Okay. So if you weren't a musician doing what you do, <laughs> yeah? What do you think you'd be doing? Yeah, well, probably that'd be a defense lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah man. I'd be a defense lawyer and stuff like that, man, you know, because alright, Christ was like you know, it's the mediator between man and God. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Working out things with people. But at the same time, you realize that there's folks that go through a lot of suffering with no one speaking for them, you know? Mm. Yeah, man, so specifically, the defense lawyer. And mm. funny enough, you know, my father was a, was a soldier. But me, you know, a part of my life would have been uh, probably a private detective too. <laughs> you understand? So you're like the not, voice for the voiceless. Alright then, yeah. watch and know. Not. And it's not something where enough artists would want to associate themselves with us in terms of police, but somebody have got to do good work, do, do the good work. Yeah, know? yeah. But yeah. I think that that's something we're lacking at Jamaica life. Mm. Reggie, I don't need to find a way for really fight. Fix the puzzle, start with the puzzle. Yeah, yeah. The crime we are going on and everything. Mm -hmm. You understand? So yeah. that's something we're like. Yeah. Okay, so when you do like your performances and concerts and all that, do you get nervous? Yeah, man. How do you deal with that as well? It's, it's called adrenaline. Mm. You get the adrenaline rush then. So, at the same time, you know, so you may have the crowd, and at the same time, you may not. Because music is unpredictable like that, you know. So, it's like, yeah, I just start to race a little bit faster than yeah. normal. But once the mic drops in my hands, so, mm. Mm. That to me gone. Yeah. I can't mean, I think now about that. I just have to do right. the work I'm come to do. I yeah. just flow. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. But before hitting that stage, whether it's a place where you know you're going to lock or not, mm -hmm. you just know, say, yo, once we grab that, you're gone. You understand? So what all do you the do? time. Yeah. What do you do when you have, like, say, a block or mm. you forget your lyrics? Yeah. Or how, how do you deal with that? I know every artist has their own style. Some stuff start chatting and humming and making some tunes and rhythm or whatever, you know, until it comes back. But yeah. or they go in some funky dance. What do you do? You know, so I dance in clear of you as a person that we interview. They are at the first time I get them question, they're still in there. So me I do it. <laughs> <laughs> and I really appreciate it very much because I get that mind and out still. I, I want to tell you, this has something never been asked before. Right. So me I, deal with, I want to show you so when I find myself in another situation where I might have a, 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 me, a black. Hmm. I reason it up. Right. You understand me? I said, based off whatever song I probably was going to do, mm -hmm. if I feel like I, it, it slipped me. Yeah. No, I'm just going on reasoning, man. You know, and them wouldn't know, you know, because mm -hmm. during my set, my always have reasoning in it. Yeah. So you, that it w wouldn't really know no, what true. I go on. But it's me true. personally, if that happens, no. me just flicking and something else. Right. You see me? That's yeah. why I make have a, a slang called ready back. Ready back, Which yes. means you must always be prepared. Mm -hmm. You understand? Just like you are drive. Mm -hmm. And you realize, say, you know, the brake, you have to go drop your hand break. You understand? Mm -hmm. So. And the person in the car may not move. You understand? Right. Yeah, right. man. So I just said, you know, you just have to house with your baby. Right, <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. All right, so there's lots, like, especially in Jamaica, loads of up and coming artists, young youth coming up, you know, with their talents and their gifts and things like that. I mean, what kind of advice would you give them? All right, I want to tell you, sir, you just have to have a, a, a purpose. And know your purpose. Mm -hmm. All mankind have to know them purpose, man. Right. And the ultimate thing that, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because you know, put, you know want to put career over your morality. Right. You see, I had these values and them things. Like, enough, enough of the time I don't want to know. if you grew up in a certain kind of you know, way of life with that, and them know the good, the good, the good way to go. Mm -hmm. But them choose to go a particular way because I eat around the dance, I eat around gangster thing and the weirdest so them go yeah. road and mm -hmm. find themselves in another weirdest so yeah, I have a purpose and I know say yo every Monday I saw to serve God there's in the praise, praise the king straight yeah. so in music I go that direction but my father go hard my father know say yo you gotta be working all the time and don't wait for a particular producer do what you have to do until somebody come along come like music is like an ocean you know 
Right. Yes. You see, I have a big yes. ocean. Yeah. I'm not artists out there drowning at all. You can't just be in the water, so and expect to get help. If you have ball out and balling out is recording some tune, yes. making sure you make certain links and the media and things still and stay true to the purpose of where they are. You see? I'm buy a food now, yeah. You wanna bless the food? Let's yeah, make a bribe for health and strength and health. We pray in thy name, O Lord. Amen. Should we pray through the other, no other but your loving son Christ Jesus, we pray. Baptize over Elsha. Lose my socks, my shoes, my money, everything. <laughs> but I give thanks to my brother. H E A R T. My name is D A V A D A V I D J O H L E U G E N J A M E S S T E W A R T. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I go. Thank you. I go. All right. Yes. All right. So, this question, I'm actually going to split it in two because there's going to be a different part to it. So, make sure it's a specific answer you give me. So, if you can make any changes in the music industry, so yeah. just music, what would that be and why? That only good tune make, is it? Mm -hmm. That only tune where... Alright, in regards to... Because I believe in our freedom of speech, still. Yeah. But you see, you have to remember the music industry is very, it's a, it's a large. Group. You have the dance hall. The people can, big people can do what they want, the teach what they want, the they see what they want. So. But it's really coming to the, the public airwaves you know, where the youths and can hear. Mm -hmm. No man, certain tunes not supposed to be there. So. Right. Yeah, certain tunes never not supposed to be there. So it's like when I grew up, I lived in the around Ninja Man. A certain artist, man. Mm -hmm. You couldn't just, you're not going to just hear that on the radio. Yeah. You have to I, I directly go to a private venue such as a dance hall or mm -hmm. something to hear certain things. So I believe I don't want, I don't, I don't make sure say, that is something where you can't just put in anything on a record mm -hmm. to put out, especially when you're trying to shop it for right. the wider public or the regular public, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Okay. So imagine right now you are the most powerful man in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. Bigger, higher than a prime minister and whoever else. What would you do? What kind of three things or changes would you make in Jamaica? Well, three things you said. It's a very difficult question, kind of things want to change, you know? But the education system, as I, the youths, right? Education is one key thing. I don't make sure so a youth cannot move to the next level until him, 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 he passed that one level. Mm -hmm. Most of youth I get, I was expelled from high school for burning all the classroom. See? Oh, <laughs> I used to go to St. George's College. They know me, I skipped up. When I went to the first form as we call her seventh grade. Mm -hmm. When I just reached the now, me getting on my first brawl yeah. quite twice. Mm -hmm. But what happened was I was going up to grades yeah. without really passing a particular level. Right, right. Isn't it? That just yeah. because we, 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 are, we are street disciples them we that we know for reasons that we can get through certain things and we know the basics. But truth and in fact find myself going up Mm -hmm. to, to, to levels without really lacking in one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's almost like a soldier. They don't leave no soldier behind. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure so that you can get a piece of education so they can balance themselves. You know what I'm okay. saying? They not really end up finding themselves or doing anything. Yeah. You see me? Alright, um, so that's one. But I make sure so you see those the elders them them get looked after, you know. Mm -hmm. The elders and so-called mad people on the street. Right. So right. Yeah. Folks who can't help themselves, brethren, really, because you have people who disable them. Alright. Alright, wheelchair. Hey, whoever can sponsor a wheelchair, do that. The lady asked me for a wheelchair, me come to the right. So go on to a wheelchair. Small, so, 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 so
you see me idea? Yeah. So them can ever go get for go hospital so in ways and them really but them thing they supposed to me that make sure say them thing they automatic man away I say man mm -hmm. yeah man look out for them people when they need and them way, you know, sick people them way, yeah. so those who mentally mm -hmm. you know what I mean and so on. Alright. Mm. Last one? The last one still. Well it's a I can't think of one right you now. I'm mean, right. try to play a year and tell That's you right. anything. You, know, you mentioned the two key things. That's good. Thing there. All okay. right. So your last question right now mm -hmm. is, what can we expect from Street Disciple in the future? And you mentioned right. you're working on the album. Mm -hmm. You know what else is happening? Well, I want to tell you, say, in a bridge, we just have continue to do work where we've been and doing a try to improve mm -hmm. on our craft. Right. And making sure that we, we stay true to the message and the mm -hmm. purpose over there so far. You know what I'm saying? Um, in terms of project, mm -hmm. um, I did one called Inner City, right. which Inner City is a double meaning. In the, in, the, in, the inside person. Right. And um, I guess you could have said Inner Cities, you know what I'm saying? Because I think the great ones them tried from them places such as Jesus Christ himself, you know what I'm saying? What yes. good can come from down there? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And so yes. you did the inner city album and now right now we are the outcast one. I don't know if people see we as outcast, you know. Mm. Yeah man, mm. as as you say my name Saint Matthew. A lot of people say well Saint Matthew. So we are the dance are already. Yeah are, are Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I know say boy yeah you know I know grew up in a in a, in a church here, you know. As youth. Just mm -hmm. like every Jamaican, yeah. Capitan, every artist where you can think about Papa San, Macrill, everyone. You check them and ask them. Mm -hmm. So that was embedded in our system, yes. same. But along the way, we divert and we take on the road different. Mm -hmm. But I want to tell you, say, whether us, me, me work on the outcast, and that's how we, people see us. Mm. So now, we just push out that message to make people know, say, look here, man, just remember the outcast such as. Christ was an outcast. Yes. There's a man deal with and many yeah. great ones, you know what I'm saying? So be encouraged and go and press forward, is it me? Alright. Okay. So finally and lastly, what message do you have for Don Sinclair, myself, I'm really coolie, about the works that we're doing to promote artists uh, and the reggae culture out there? Alright. You see, I'm not a person where you're gonna just get me to say mm. the things that you expect me to say. No, we don't want to hear no, that. Just and I really what you that, feel you know. and how but you What I will tell you is this. Continue to come up with these intriguing questions. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say yeah. you don't know what to say right now? No, man. I, I, I a think big up a shout out is good. No, man. man. Big you, up see them, man. You, see, you see, them questions are very intriguing to me because it, it it makes you think out yes. of the box. Notice, you know, when you ask a certain question, it can make you stand back. So, I'm never home. How many people get asked the question to think about if you were the, 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 the most powerful perfect person at Jamaica, what would they do? That's not, that's not, that's not a regular everyday question in a bedroom. You see me, I deal with mm -hmm. And it will make you start thinking right there on the spot. Yes. But what was in me. Was will come out and if I can tell you the number three, me just know some two. But one I'm tell you and the two I'm tell you supposed to take care of everything else. Yes. But I'd say yo, dancing player go and push out them questions that we, we really make people <laughs> think. The artists have to just know some them dig deep into them knowledge. You understand me? I say so. No respect to that still and give thanks yes, to the, 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 the interview them real real. Alright. You see me? Okay. Yeah man, definitely. Right, so on behalf of myself and John Sinclair. Many thanks for your time. It's a real pleasure talking with you. Mm -hmm. Outside your yard, you know? Yeah, In yard, what a pleasure. Yeah? Oh, yeah? No, for sure. All right. There's any idea. No, you wanna, you, you go, sir. Oh, we always do. Whole life. Yeah, man. definitely, <laughs> you see. All right.